keep murdering the White Elves. It is war. The end of one. The robed one's lost. Oh. What are they attacking us for? We didn't do anything. More will come. Did you say something? No. Oh, okay. Another cipher piece. I'll see what I can fit together. At least we're getting closer to the light. Wait, is that Sindri? told our path was the only one between realms. Well, it may be the only way for you to travel, but we dwarves are full of surprises. That is not an answer. Ah, hang on to that sense of wonder. You're not in a hurry. Um, I know it's not my business, but if I were you, I'd wash off that symbol painted on your neck. We were told it would help protect us. Was that a lie? Oh, no, it's a protection stave all right, but... You can't render that pigment into paintable texture without blending it with boar urine. And is that really better than death? Maybe a little. Well, well, it's your neck. Sindri, have you always been so... Clean? Huh. Don't I wish. No, I was just as unsanitary as the next dwarf until the day a Vanir witch set me straight. She discovered with her magic there are hundreds of thousands of tiny Beasties on everything around us. Ugh, so small you can't even see them. No. It's true. And if they get inside you, they make you sick. But the witch told me there's one wood, the oak, that's a natural deterrent. Stops the beasties from spreading. So now, I make all my handles from oak. See? I think of these things. Okay, back to work. So how come Brock's blue and you're not? Boy. Oh, it's fine. Very good question, actually. You see, my brother's not as careful as I am. In fact, he prefers to work with metals using oh, his own bare hands. Ugh. No gloves. Says it's the only way he can hear what it wants to be. Touch enough raw silver and it changes your skin irreparably. That means forever. I wouldn't bring it up to him, though. <laughs> you know how sensitive he can be. I guess that makes sense. Sindri, why don't you just make up with your brother already? Me? Make up with him? Because he's an obstinate pighead incapable of change. Because he says the most terrible things about me. Just because he's insecure about his own work. Which, let me tell you, is subpar. Because he blames me for... for the things that aren't my fault. Huh? Like what? <sighs> Would you pardon me, please? I need to collect myself. What'd you say? I said nothing. Really? Okay. Your mother speak of this realm? Not much. Just that since the elves were always fighting over the light, they kept them isolated. Huh? Again, I said nothing. Where? This one you said something. What is it, boy? Oh. Voices! 
You don't hear that? I hear nothing. Mm. It's going away now. It was screaming. Lots of voices, angry. You really didn't hear that? No. It felt... evil. Try talking to them? No. But maybe they need help. They do not stop us, so they do not concern us. But they maybe... do not concern us. Temple. Look, they have sand bowls in Alfheim too. What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most pure. I don't see any runes around here. Oh, we must find it. Back to the boat. The elves can't work things out. How if I'm such a beautiful place, but war makes it ugly. You see with the eyes of a child. In war, a soldier sees beauty only in the blood of his enemy. The rest of him is lost. Sometimes never to return. You know about war, don't you? Wars are fought for two things. Survival or advantage. Battles may be won by the better soldier. Wars are won by those who are willing to sacrifice everything to ensure victory. The blue door! That's gotta be the entrance. Let's go! Careful, boy. What are they doing? The bridge is gone. They covered the crystal with that stuff. Why? To prevent reinforcements. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Here we go! together like that they kind of look like a room it doesn't make sense come back to the sand bowl
Sindri said mother was a warrior. Was she in a war too? Of a sort. Her family was decimated by hostile rivals, and she alone survived. She walked the warrior's path, but her war was to live on, to brave an unforgiving world alone. And that's why she has Sindri and Brog to make her the axe? She had the strength to wield such a weapon, and the wisdom to use it for good. She found purpose in protecting the weak. So, she'd help out the elves? No. Father, the pillars and ring form an elvish room. Draw it. Boy! It was the voices again, but different voices, less angry. They were asking for help. We are here for the light. I do not care who they are, nor what they want. You never care about anything. You have something to say? No. Ruger. What's happening? Whoa! Look what we found! Father? Yes? The voices I heard. It was hard to make out, but way in the back, I'm pretty sure I heard Mother. That is not possible. But I know what I heard. Atreus, enough. He looks different. Look at those horns. Behind me, boy. That can't be good. Stay away from those cages. Be ready. What?
that side hallway will get us to the temple? We will find out. back there. Oh? I know Mother's voice better than anyone. It was her. She is gone, boy. Speak no more of this. Fine. Oh, my God. 